Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a layered text effect in Illustrator. I'm going to start with the type tool. I'm using Myriad Pro bold font because it's a nice chunky sort of font. I'm starting at 300 points because my document is 1920 by 1080 pixels in size. You can adjust the font size to whatever it is that you're working with. That doesn't really matter too much here. I'm going to type the word success. I'm going to select over it with the type tool and I want to make sure that I have the characters spaced out nicely. So I'm going to this tracking setting. The tracking is already set to 80. I'm just going to increase that a little bit so that the characters are nicely spaced out. Let's just move this down so that we can see it. With the text selected, I'm going to the appearance panel. I'm going to click here on characters and I'm going to remove this fill because this fill is not helping us. This fill isn't going to give us the effect that we're looking for. So I want no stroke and no fill, but I'm going back now to the type. We can't see our text because it has no stroke and no fill. So we're going to click here on the add new fill option. This is important because we want to be able to work in the type in this type panel, not in the characters panel, because we can do more in the type area than we can in the characters area. It's just how Illustrator works with type. So I'm going to my fill color. I'm going to set it to a sort of blue. So if I click away from my text, what I've basically got is just a chunky font with a blue fill. Let's go now and create the offset appearance. So here in the type area, I'm going to add a second fill. The top fill is going to be this blue color. The bottom fill, I want to be my pattern, the pattern I plan to use. For this, I'm going to the swatches panel. I'm going to open the flyout menu, choose open swatch library, go down to patterns, basic graphics, and then basic graphics lines. These are a series of patterns that are shipped with Illustrator. The one I want is this one. It's a grid, so I'm going to click it. It's a grid one picker lines, and it's been added to the swatches panel here, and it's also been applied as the fill on this text. Now, we can't see it right now because there's a blue fill over the top. If I turn off the blue fill, we can see that the text actually has also this sort of grid fill. What I want to do with this grid fill is I want to offset it. I want to pull it over and down. So I'm going to target it. Again, this is really important that we target this fill. We don't target the type. We just want to take this fill and move it. So I'm going to choose Effect, Distort and Transform, and then Transform. I'll turn Preview on, and I'm going to distort this or transform it horizontally 20 pixels and vertically 20 pixels. So you can see that it's forming a sort of shadow and an offset duplicate of this type. So I'm just going to do that, click OK. The amount of movement you need will vary on the size of the type. So just use whatever makes sense for the type that you're using. Now I would also like to have a line around this back copy of my text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a stroke. So I'm going to click here to add a second stroke. I'm going to move it underneath the fill and I'm going to set this stroke to the same color as I'm working with, this sort of blue color, and it's going to be a very faint stroke. The problem is that it's not being offset in the same way as this text is. So what I need to do is to go to this fill and take this transform and duplicate it. So I'm going to drag it onto the new icon. So I've got two copies of that transform and one of them I'm going to add to the stroke. So I'm just dragging it down and dropping it on top of the stroke. And that is giving me this little stroke outline behind the second piece of text. So if I click away, that's the effect that I've got. Now, if I want a slight fill on this, I can do so. Let's go and select the text again. I'm going to add another fill again. So this is the fill that's giving me this offset. So I'm just going to duplicate that because it's already got the transform in it. I don't have to recreate the transform. But the top one, I want to be the grid. The bottom one, I want to be my slightly filled shape. So instead of this pattern here, I'm just going to go and get a pale gray. Well, too dark. Let's go for that one. And let's just click away from the text. So this is what my text looks like. It's got this sort of blue-gray fill, and it's got a second version of the text just slightly offset. 
don't need my patterns any longer. So once I've created this effect, I can save it as a graphic style so I can use it any time in future. Again, selecting over the text, I'm going to open up the graphic styles panel here and I'm going to drag and drop it in as a graphic style. So this is the graphic style that I've just created. Let's go back down here and let's type another word here. Just type the word dream. I'm going to select it. I'm going to click on the graphic style I just created. And this text is now taken on the exact same look as this piece of text. And the beauty of this effect is that it's totally editable. Again, let me go to the type tool and let me change this from success into super. And when I click away, the type effect has been applied. So this text is 100% editable and the effect can be saved as a graphic style. So you can use it any time that you like. I hope that you've enjoyed this video tutorial. I hope that you've learned something about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video tutorial, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you're going to be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name is Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel.